Oh, I knew I saw him. I knew I saw school redfish. What's up guys? Charles Cleburne with Charles Cleburne Fishing, Dirty Bay Fishing. All right, in this video, I have three scenarios that I go through with you. The first one that I'm gonna go through with you is called drifting. I like to, uh, it's one of my secrets, um, when I don't see a lot of action in the area, but I know there's fish in the area, I like to take that popping cork and I like to drift and I like to find fish. So I'll walk you through that. All right, and then the next one I go through is an ambush point. It's a drop off. So I explain to it why there's fish there. I even uh, walk you through on my depth finder and I show you the drop off and I show you the pot of fish down there that I'm going after. And I explain everything about that and how I do that. All right, and then my third one is a redfish sign. I pull up into a back lake and across the other side, I see a school of redfish. Now, I didn't see any tails and I didn't see anything busting the water, but I show you what I do see, why I knew there was redfish there and uh, what I do to catch them and why I, what I do not to scare them off. And don't forget to book a trip with me, man. We taking boat trips, we doing uh, way trips, and we doing kayak trips. So call me for information and to book a trip. And don't forget, you got any questions, man, leave them in the comments. I'll get back with you. Oh, and immediately after I'm done talking right now, I got a special clip for you guys. It is my number one secret of how I find fish every time I go out in this next clip for y'all. So stay tuned and watch that, man. And I hope to see you guys in the water. Tight lines and God bless. Me and the bird are talking. Where are they at, bird? There it is, right there, okay. When nothing on his mind, cause his mind had stopped working. <laughs> all right guys this is blurry i got it a little blown up to show you this pelican right here see how them hit he hit the water that is always a sign of something in the area so that's why i'm drifting through this area also right here i'm in a flat that's about two foot deep and right down this area right here is the drop off for the intercoastal, the ship channel. So it's really deep and shallow. So when I see those pelicans busting like that, and then there's a drop off right there, that's something that I like to go check. So I'm actually drifting along with my popping cork right here, popping along with this little gulp shrimp that I've been having luck with. And I'm just checking. Um, there's not a whole lot of signs, but there is the pelican there is the drop off that uh, predator fish will be down in the deep coming up over that drop off, hitting any uh, bait fish that are coming by. And that is how I found this speckled trout right here.
okay, watch my cork right here. It is right at the drop off. You see, I'm not really hitting it hard. I'm just barely tapping it, making it make its noise, which is going to attract fish. Watch this, that cork. Boom. See it disappear? Yeah, I got it. Speckled trout right there. Thing with these popping corks, you don't have to make a whole lot of crazy amount of noise. The thing about them is you make a splashing noise like a fish feeding. That popping um, uh, beads and stuff that are on that cork make a sound like a fleeing bait fish. And it draws them in and they come check it out. If you do it too hard, too loud, it'll scare them off. All right, guys, hope you can find an area like this. Um, if you are in an area and don't see a bunch of signs, look for the birds, look for the pelicans, drop-offs, and just anywhere drifting through with that popping cork or even your lures, man, if there's something there, you're going to find it. Tight lines and God bless everybody. Alright guys, you're going to always hear me talk about ambush points. Speckled trout, redfish, and flounder are ambush predators, so they're going to be around a point or structure or something, so um, I don't know if, let's see here, can y'all see that any good? See all them, them lines right there? Well, those are bait. Um, so what I've got right here where I'm working at, it's a flat that's about a foot and a half deep and then it drops off to 20, it drops off to 20 foot, 15 foot. And the whole drop off, there's speckled trout along that whole drop off waiting for bait to come across that top and they can come up and get it. That's why when I drove, throw my bait over there across the top of them and bring it through that line of bait, they get they're, they're gonna jump up and get it and now you see my see we're at six foot right there. there's a little hump and we're going up to five foot now 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 stay watching it see how we're going up to four foot All right, we're up to two foot. See that big drop off right there? All right, so anyway, I've been picking speckled trout off this drop off the whole time. I've got current running this way and they're underneath that drop. The drop off comes right here and they're about right here about midway. And as that current blows bait, they pop up and get it. Now that's something to remember in all your fish you go after. Watch that current, how it's swirling. Watch points. Uh, if you don't have a, a depth finder, use a pole or something. You can feel the bottom, you can feel the drop-offs and work them drop-offs because I call them ambush points. Anything that you can think of that may be an ambush point may have a fish hiding behind it, getting ready to ambush that bait coming back around it, man. So those are key things that you need to look for when you're out there trying to find fish. Okay guys, stay watching up there where I pointed that arrow and if you look, there's going to be disturbances back there. There's a school of redfish back there. Um, they're not really feeding, they're not really telling, they're just swimming around and investigating. The only way I know is I see that water disturbance and that wake back there. And what I do real quick is I throw to the outside of them 
and I worked that lure. You don't want to throw him. in the middle of a school of redfish because uh, that one red will hit it and They're it'll up in spook here, bro. them and they'll, they'll go everywhere. So remember that. Pay attention to them wakes. Throw outside. Catch redfish. Oh, I knew I saw them. I knew I saw school redfish. Huh? Yeah, there, there was a whole wake of movement across this other side that I went to. I threw right on the edge and it's just a few pops and he hit it. So there, there, there's a hole on that other side. I backed up out of there to make room for you. It's, I mean, it's a, looks like a rat, but they're still over there. Yes, sir. Nice little rat on that top water. All right, guys, we'll see you in a minute. All right, good times. That's a good sign. All right, anglers, man, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope you learned something watching. You got any questions, just leave them down there in the comments, man. I'll get back to you. You want to come fishing with me? Don't forget to book a trip, man. Here's all my info right here. Um, book a boat trip, book a wade trip, book a kayak trip, man. Let's go get on some fish. All right, guys, man, I really appreciate you watching. Hope to see you on the water. Tight lines and God bless.